Okay, let's do this. So this is a build that you too can do yourself. And it'll work. Get it. You can do this build yourself and it will work just fine pretty much every time. Let's pull assault at this point. The battle is over. There's no way they're going to win. Of course, they're imminent, so they think they'll win. They want us to know they told that they totally got this. You're next. And let's just see all his armor disappear. Well, that was fast. <laughs> all right, another alpha core. I love it. Let's take that. Anybody else? No. All right, let's go home so we can deal with that Persian League raid that's coming our way. As we try to grow all of our colonies to size six and then expand. You don't even need to use the Mora's missiles to finish them off, by the way. Like, the fighters are actually sufficient to kill off Cap kill off pretty much everything. So, uh, the build for these is what I call the Medley Mora. It's on my YouTube channel. Um, you can make the Medley Mora Plus if you want, which is the one that has uh, built-in mods. But here's the build. We use Warthogs. These are anti-armor. You have Broadswords. These are anti-shield. You have Thunders. These are anti-armor, anti-shield, but they also have some AMP. So they're sort of like your Swiss Army knife. They also have an engagement range of like twice of like three times the more the uh, warthogs and a little over a little under twice the uh, broadswords so they can they they will be your first strikers these guys turn off people's engines these guys peel back their shields these guys peel back their armor and then they all just rip them to pieces it has two reapers so i'm going to experiment so these are great in like single ship combat in mast shift combat, though, I think you might be better off with a harpoon and a sabo. They'll spam, like, all of them will spam. Yeah. Like, all the, like if you have a bunch of moras within range and someone gets overloaded, they'll all just spam their missiles at them and just kill them. So you want to expand a crew deck so that losses, your um, fighter recovery goes down more slowly when you lose ships, because you will lose ships. Well, fighters. And then reinforced bulkheads just makes it so that if one of these gets destroyed in combat, you can just recover it without having to spend a story point. So it can work really, really well. All right, let's go. We've got some Persian League people to, uh, to slaughter. It's not murder. They're within our jurisdiction and they're declaring war on us. I'm pretty sure that Sector Convention rules apply. <laughs> Sector Convention instead of Geneva. Alright, so let's drop off all this stuff. In our uh, collection. Yeah, it's just a small, modest collection of, of armaments and stuff. You know, not too bad. And uh, let's see. Alright, my tons us. Our biggest economy is. Yeah, so my tons us is one of our biggest economies. Let's see what we can do here to uh, make it as profitable as possible. Does that require a lot now? Okay, well, they got cores on everything. So that's good. <laughs> we have one credit. Um, all right. How's our building going? Oh, did we finish one of the legions? We did. That's great. Good see. We'll take that. We'll outfit this. So this is what I also call the medley legion. So first up, I like to use these because guided missiles are fantastic. Let's actually, let's go to our moras and let's refit them. With some harpoons. Medley, medley. Sure. Medley guide. We'll call this medley guided. We'll put that 
here once we have it re-outfitted. So these cost 10 each, and we want harpoons, those cost 10, and sabos, those cost 10 as well. So uh, we don't want those on the same, we want that by itself. We can just slap that over here, that's fine. Okay, let's, put all the, let's get rid of all that. Let's put the light mortar here, it's on auto fire. And then the Vulcan Cannon. So everything that can shoot forward, we want shooting forward. Let's go with sides. Right, so we have this side, we have that side. That's more this side, that's more that side than this side. Then we have one in the front, one in the back. So let's see. Yeah, I guess that can work. Or we can just put all the Vulcan Cannons on one. Like that can work too. All right, so that's fine. So this will be the medley guided. And now we can just sort of rebuild these guys to that and see how that works. Hopefully it works great. Because guided missiles can go through allies, whereas unguided missiles just hit whatever they hit. Now, if you're curious, um, they will just spam out Pila. So the thing about Pilums, about Pila, is that they don't do a whole lot of damage. So they they're kind of unspecialized. So let's see, Pila. So they have really good range. They hit for about fifteen thousand, and they're really bad against armor and shields. So that means that they're just something you can spam out, uh, but otherwise they they don't really fill a specific niche. So if we look at these guys long term and we do some quick calculations, and we look at missiles as having a purpose behind them, you, you want your munitions to, to actually serve a specific purpose. So these guys, they do 1500 assuming all three hits, right? One five zero zero. Well, they're most likely going to be hitting against armor or shields. So we then so that's by twenty five percent. So multiply that by zero point twenty five. So realistically, each volley does uh, three hundred and seventy five damage, assuming all hit. That's three of them. So we multiply that by ten, and we find out that at each one of those pila at full, assuming all missiles hit, do. Yeah, each one of these PLM slots do about three hundred, do about three thousand seven hundred and fifty damage total over its entire lifetime, which isn't isn't particularly great. Now, if we look at that, now that was three seventy five, I think. Now, if you multiply that by two, because we have two of them, we're up to seven hundred and we're up to seven thousand five hundred. So 7,500 for the entire lifetime of both of these, if both of these were Pelum slots. Then we have Harpoons. Harpoons do 200, well, Sabos do 200 uh, damage. No, they do way more than that. We have two, that's times 10 effectively. So these do 2,000 damage, but we're only gonna use these to really deal damage to enemy shields. So we can multiply that by two. That's already up to 4,000 for just one volley, just one uh, salvo. But it has 12 and it can fire, and it fires two of these. So we multiply that by six. So against shields, this Sabo does, does 24,000 damage. So a bit better than, uh, that's just one missile slot. So it's a bit better than the Pila. If we go to Harpoons, uh, we have 750 times 4, so that's 3,000, I think. Yeah, 3,000. But they only have three salvos of these, so we'll multiply that by 3. Actually, we multiply it by 2, because it's against armor. 
We multiply that by three. So that gets us up to 18,000 damage. So the Sapos are better damage-wise against shields. And the Harpoons are better damage-wise against armor. The Pila, the Pila are kind of just mediocre against everything. Because, again, Pila aren't supposed to be used for anything close range. You're supposed to fire all your Pila from maximum distance and then just let them you know, home in on something and hit it. That's all they're supposed to do. Uh, so you can think about them as just adding more stuff that Point Defense has to shoot at. But in terms of having a battle carrier, you want to use either Reapers, which are even better, by the way, damage-wise. Look at Reapers. So each Reaper does 4,000 damage. Yeah, each Reaper does 4,000 damage. And it's... Uh, and we have five of them, so that means it does 20,000 damage. Well, if we take those if we take those Reapers and we shoot them at shields with its weak point, that means they do 2,000 damage per, but we have five of them. So that goes up to 20,000 damage to shields per Reaper slot. If we then multiply that by two, because it's both the Reapers, because we have both of them as Reaper slots, these things do 40,000 against shields. And most likely, you're going to overpower the enemy shields with these. So if we say half of them go against shields, half of them go against armor, we are looking at a grand total of around 60,000. Or if they are just against shield, they are just against armor, then each one does 8,000 damage. So that would be 8,000 both slots. That would be 10 missiles. We'd be looking at 80,000 damage. So you can do... So the Reapers do the most damage, but the AI actually has a problem firing all of them off, whereas the heart using something that's a bit more specialized in the slots, uh, you can get... You can tend to get a lot of... You can tend to get a lot more mileage, and be, they home in on the enemy and deal damage that way so instead of it being like one of these guys occasionally fires a reaper at an enemy ship it's like four or five six of them fire four uh harpoons at them at once and just kill them if that makes any sense but anyway um we're gonna test it out and see how well it works but all right we've got all of these to use go back to storage put those away let's drop off this stuff get 3,000 supplies not 4,000 3,000 let's fuel up let's get 7,000 8,000 crew and 150 of these so the medley legion let's go ahead and look at that the Medley Legion is sort of similar. Yeah, we already have them set up. So this is all of our built-in mods. We will be going with past Legions, so eventually. So we're going to build those three in. And uh, everything else can sort of just stick around and do its thing. All right. So this is the Medley Legion. It tends to work really well. We have two broadswords because enemy ships especially uh, at capital level, have more shields than armor. Uh, we have one thunder, and we have uh, some warthogs. So the how this ship works is it's basically just a big battering ram, as you can think about it. It's slow, it doesn't turn very fast, its fighters sort of make up for that. And um, essentially, uh, it uses its, its medium ballistic weapons to just kill it, destroyers and frigates if we can get to them. Sometimes cruisers, and he uses these to kill everything else. <laughs> so it's, it's really friggin' dangerous. Um, so you know, it is what it is. You can also just put these on auto fire and it will do it, and the entire thing will just do its stuff. So it's, it's incredibly dangerous. And again, you know, something else is going on here. This is how, this is uh, homie, 
this is uh, this is guided and that's guided too so these can also just fire over your ships but yeah it works incredibly well okay commerce has an alpha core that's good who is the next most profitable enterprise we've got commerce commerce yeah commerce it's on commerce, that's on commerce. Alpha core, alpha core, alpha core, and. Why do we have less stability? Oh, it's because unrest. Okay, sounds good. Whatever. Let's go to the next beyond Port Royal to Hadara. Haradare. Alright, Haradare, where are you? As this Persian League expedition that is two fleets strong um, comes our way. Probably screams and dies the moment it comes into the system. But yeah, having specialized stuff is very useful. Avoid fragmentation damage. It um, tends to not be that great. Unless you're going to mass it, and I can just, and you can just spam it. I believe they changed Pila from previous version to this version. To uh, I think it was originally like anti shield or something like that, and then they changed it to be uh, the current version of it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they they went up. A decent amount, right? Yeah, it went up by a decent amount. Okay, cool. Who's next? Next highest income. You, Lemcon. You have a commerce. And I would like for you to make more money. Where are you? You're over there. Wrong. Well, we'll go over there then. A diplomatic blunder between Sindri and Dixat and Tritachion. Well, that's good. Hopefully they keep hating each other. Let's see. Is anyone about to win the game that we need to start slapping down? It's like fleet or something. I really would. This really needs to be an alphabetical order. Need log. Um, well, they're getting close. We need to slap them down. The Verdant's Alliance. Okay. Alright, let him go. You're at negative 27. Now you're at negative 11. Better than nothing. Um, got everything on you. We can't stabilize you at the moment, so you just gotta do what we gotta do. Alright, Vizvi. I'm actually gonna put one on this because it increases the size of their high command, of their fleets. Which means we can end up with just some crazy, like, monster sized fleets out of this. Alright, Vizvi. We're heading over. And uh, yes, these are these are the names of pirate bases in the real world. Previous previous era pirate bases. All right, so they are currently traveling, officer, and then they're going to die. I like how those attachments are getting big enough to actually be dangerous to me. All right, now they're going to get even worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put that on there. This battle station. So we can put that there. Okay, sounds good. Right. So where are these guys going for? They're targeting Matanzas. Well, I mean, if they really want to uh, commit self death, if they really want to commit self forever sleep, then that works for me.
Now I'll know when they are in system because everyone will fly over here. Even though they don't need to. Oh, they're making a beeline for something. That's what Dazon's perch failed. That's good. Come on, my dudes. Come and show me what you've got. Oh, that's them. <laughs> I like how that fast picket has three legions in it. <laughs> I mean, I just want uh, to get some free legions out of this, so let's let them do their thing. As long as they don't blow up my, uh, you know, my star fortress. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we don't want that. We're good. Conquest, Hound, Falcon. Don't want the conquests. And well, they're gonna get him. Jump him. Oh no. And uh, where's the other guy? Where's his friend at? Wasn't it supposed to be two fleets? I think it's supposed to be two fleets. But oh well. Alright, let's drop off some drop off these weapons. Let's drop off some extra fuel. If we have too much. And yeah, I think... Yeah, they all died. <laughs> we just have armies of capital ships now. <laughs> Alright, so... How's this going? Pretty well, I assume. How's our income coming along? Portuga? What happened to you? It's kind of one of the things you have to do uh, with this, is when things stability gets really low, you have to sort of cycle them. report sometimes throwing it off doesn't actually do anything so you just gotta do what you gotta do let's go see if we can trade anything actually there's not a lot the enemy can do to stop us so let's see who wants what Yama wants this word war with Yama so Umbro wants a decent number though so let's take that We'll take, say, 3,000 for Umbra. Uh, fuel we have lots of. No one wants this. Garner wants some Marines, but not for a great price. Virgin Gorda wants those, so we can satisfy our own markets as well. Though if we're doing that, we should try to buy stuff from our open markets. We don't have any money, so we can't actually do that. The 3,000 here. Um, let's see. That is kind of the nice part about having um, your own markets, I suppose. Having a lot of planets. So we take 
400. Eh, probably won't be worth it. Uh, well, for ourselves, it'd be worth it. So we we'll take 200 Marines and sell them on our own market. Version Gorda. Portuga. So we want 600 of these then. That's good. Virgin Gorda wants 400 of these, so we'll take 400 to ourselves. Garner wants a lot of these. Lost Astropolis wants a good number. Tortuga wants 200. Let's go get 200. Alright, nice. Tortuga wants 2,000, so you can just take 2,000. Tortuga wants 400. Uh, we can get those better at places that actually do refining. Okay, sounds good. And we need to pick up another transport ship. So we're going to put him away. Well, we're going to put you away, actually. We'll put these away. And instead, we will take an extra few atlases. An extra few atli. Alright, so. That's Tortuga. And we need to go to Barbary Bay, because that's where we do our refining. So Barbary Bay will be able to get a lot of uh, transplutonics and uh, metals. And then go trade that in. Go trade that to Tortuga and other places to make some extra cash. So Tortuga wants 400 of these. We can take two. We can do that. And they want 4,000 of these. Works for me. Alright, I think that's everything. So. Who one of what? You're Tur you are Tortuga. You are Virgin Gorda. That's Virgin Gorda. Portuga. They want luxury goods as well. I guess we can pass by. I guess we can pass by um Port Royal and Z. Actually, we can probably just go to the open market and see. Does Tortuga want that? No. Okay, it's a good thing we didn't go back there. Go to Tortuga then and sell a bunch of this stuff. Sure, you guys just got, you know, stomped into the ground. I'll accept your, uh, your surrender, I mean, your peace offering. All right, let's go to the open market. We need to flip Tortuga into being a freeport, so we can then sell all this with less of a tariff. Good. Excellent. Wonderful. Wonderful. Awesome. Alright, so we just made 500k. Now this needs to go to Virgin Gorda. Who does not want anything that we would be able to get here. So, Virgin Gorda is over there. So let's fly over there, drop all that off, and then go hunting some more. We'll drop off these extra atlases, grab some more stuff, and see what we can do. Also, we can have our operatives raise our action with the independents. So, operatives. New mission. Raise relations. Alright, sounds good. He has a 66% chance. We will queue his next mission. It will also be to raise... 
And let's do that. Now, with tons of this, we could also buy another uh, legion instead of building it. Oh, good work, Richard. Cool. And we'll sell those and sell these. I made some extra money. Now let's go to Matanzas. All right. So we can go to custom production. We can make another one of those. We have to right click to do that. We can also go to fleets and we might be able to buy another one of these. They cost 6,000 something. You know, just get some more. That is the nice part about having an open market. But all right, let's refit this one as well. So we're gonna make it the, uh, this version. We're gonna go to build in. We're gonna go to max OP, get those three. And then outfit it to standard. Now we actually want these to have as many D mods on them as possible. That just means that we can field more of them because of derelict operations. We also don't want any officers on them because that makes this one, because this reduces the cost to deploy them by 10 points. Let's repair our stuff. And at a certain point, we're actually going to need more crew. We're going to need that now. Let's just go up to 10,000 crew. And yeah, <laughs> we're going to need lots of people to field all this. Um, all right, even with those extra atlases, that is still a bunch. So we're going to get rid of these extra atlases. We don't necessarily need them anymore. And with the two extra tugs, we are doing all right. But let's see, let's take these extra condors. Yeah, we'll take up the 29 ships. Nah. Let's take these two guys. Put them up there. Take these condors, move them to the back of the line, I suppose. And everything seems to be up to standard. So, we are good to go. Let's go kill some more uh, people, I guess. Now, call any threats. Nothing. Let's go get some more Alpha Core, shall we? That's medium as well, but I think these have been cleared out by someone. Let's go to Dagon anyway. going on here yeah it looks like somebody got jacked up pretty badly might have been one of our transport ships or our transport convoys yeah, it looks like it Hello, you. You're dead. Uh, oh, you're an independent. We're trying to become friends with them, so we're going to let them live for now. All right, let's go. Once we get back to... Oh, what's our range? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Once we get back to, uh, I believe, 49 faction with the independence, they'll stop attacking our stuff. Then we'll be able to invite them into our alliance. That'll be great. Maybe.
I don't know if we can actually invite the independence into an alliance. Be nice though. Let's see. There's supposedly no one hanging around here. There's Aurora. I'll salvage that. I guess we haven't been in here before, have we? I guess we haven't. Cool. Let's go up to Yabadash. There are quite a few Rimland ships of fleets over here. That's good. Let's go announce our presence, shall we? Ah, good. Now everyone knows where we are. They're probably making a beeline for us right now. That's a Falcon. That's a Brola. We did bring... Okay, good. I was about to say, we did bring, like, heavy machinery, right? We're gonna need that. Uh, let's answer the hail. Hello. Help us. No scum needs to be dealing with. Okay, good. Let's see. You answer the hail. A ship, a ship, a ship, a ship. Gods are glad to see you. The longest time we've been wondering, been wondering if there are even anyone else alive out there. My name is Gabra Stevens, and I can't wait to shake your hand. Right. So there's something I need, only you can help us with. There's a nearby pack of knaves and scum that needs dealing with. We clear the whole rotten nest out ourselves, but alas, the defenses are a little too entrenched. You, on the other hand, with your spaceship, could just drop a few bombs on them and blow them straight to hell. In return, we'll give you some food. Sound good? Gabbard transmits several images and the coordinates of the target. With the rudimentary defenses present, you estimate you could that it'd take no more than 20 fuel to completely destroy the settlement, assuming, of course, that intervening in Bel Belatu's conflict is a good idea. Grrr. The jury rigged antimatter bombs served to obliterate the target most satisfyingly, leaving nothing but, pa but a patchwork of craters scarring the landscape. Gabber Ste Stevens is most pleased. Excellent, he grows. Take your reward, friend, you've earned it. A little while later, your shuttle returns to your fleet with the promised goods. That's one problem taken care of, at least. Let's perform the survey. Alright, extensive ruins. Let's explore those ruins. Cool, bunch of stuff we already have. Let's go over here to this Falcon. Now, Falcons are really good at punching through things. Sorry, even I feel bad about that one. Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's go to this one. Give a dash. Okay, nothing cool on it. What's over here? I was kind of hoping some remnant fleets would be coming after us. But, as it turns out... Oh, there you are. You're just a damaged one, that's okay. I just don't want to get pulled into a fight with that and everything else. Because I don't actually want to blow that up. If you're going to be a problem for me, we're going to have issues. Alright, spore, sparse, sparse ore, depo ore deposits. Abundant volatile, nice. And some more rare ore deposits. What's over here? Ooh, mining station. Ah, it's just a stable orbit. Oh, goody. Oh. Seems a neutral posture, does it? I was hoping he'd be able to fight me with the uh, station. Okay. Is there anything else around here that I can get an alpha core from? Seems to be some stuff over here. Let's go check that out. Ugh. It's just another one of those. Minor weapons cache. Let's take it. Ooh. Tridents. Tridents are probably 
Some of the nicer bombers. And, oh, you, do you want to fight? Do you want to Kung Fu fight? Let's do this. Uh, let's let you get together with your friends. That way, we can all fight together. Come on, let's do this. You've got your allies. There won't be enough, but you've got your allies. And I've got all my uh, really crappy support. <laughs> I've got my horde of, of, you know, stuff. This should be enough. Let's just throw the condors out there as well, because why not? Okay, let's see. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We don't even need to do that. Uh, we can just do this. Maybe. <laughs> hmm. Defend. And defend. That way they'll split up pretty naturally. Um, so I want you to go over there. I want you to go over there. And you to go over there. Let's do this. And that should work pretty well. Alright, let's go at full speed. As they try to defend these. And there's already a dude right now over here. Oh, no. His little phase skimmer. Right. Let's annoy him. That's about all we can do. Okay. As these two guys close in and do their thing. As I've said before, this afflictor setup is not actually intended to kill anything. Its main job is just to debuff things. Looks like that uh, Lumen ran into a bunch of fighters. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I want you to head over there. Oh, no! Oh! Ah! <laughs> he died doing what he loved. <laughs> Alright guys, let's do this. Alright Thunders, do your thing. Good, another lumen's down. And there he goes. Cool. Well, while you guys do that, I'm gonna go over here. And they are just ripping and tearing, aren't they? I'm just going to see what uh, he's up to. The enemy gets too close and they get ripped to pieces. Oh, there he goes. Closing in to start blasting people. Yeah, they pretty much just rip things apart. Yeah, it all seems to be going alright. 
that this guy's screwed. If he gets overloaded, then uh, the harpoons will come out on this guy. Very nice. There was a Sabo. There was another Sabo. Down he goes. And let's just pull the salt from there and rip everything apart. Seem to be focused on him. That's good. Take him down. Come on. Go. <laughs> Alright. Let's take this guy out. As all those fighters come pouring in. And there we go. The battle is over. No, of course. Unfortunate. But you know it is what it is. Might as well see what's out here. It looks like a Tartesos. Let's take that and let's leave. We could attack all the other guys, but you know, it's not really worth it to us. This is another medium, so let's head over there. These guys, you can make them go away by interdicting them. Yeah, it's its own, its own place. These are all fully surveyed. Let's do this. Okay, no one there so far. Usually, remote stations will be either in asteroid belts or they will be near planets. So they'll be near some sort of point of interest. Assuming there's even one here. They're usually pretty easy to find. If you turn on your transponder, it makes it easier to see where enemy fleets are because you can see their sensor ranges. There might not actually be an enemy station here, though. It says medium, so I'd expect there to be. I don't think there is. I think if there is, they, they've wiped them out. Someone's wiped them out. Let's go to the other one. And how are our colonies doing? Ah. Money. Excellent. How's, uh, how's the growth going? 80%... 80% 95. Good. Most people are... Most of these are nearing size 6, which means they're all going to get high commands or commerce or something else. Which will be fantastic! From Alpha Benzon. Well, that's where we're going. Actually, we won't go into Alpha Benzon. We can go check it out, though. Maybe we'll find an independent there, we can give them some fuel, and then they'll be happy with us. What are you doing? We're just in last before cutting transmission. Oh, really now? I think we need to teach you. A, I think we need to teach you a lesson, young pirate. <laughs> I 
All right, um, let's see. You guys uh, escort him. Actually, we just do a defend order, and that makes it all work. Two defend orders. You go here. You go there. And you go here. I don't think our transponder is on, that we should be fine. But he was also to us. That's our excuse. Okay, well, there they go, doing their things. Let's go say hello to the enemy. Hello, Dalgo. Mr. Wolvero. Very unwise decision. Get him. And well, there goes Mr. Wolf. <laughs> he died doing what he loved. Um, you know, whatever it is. The hard counter to phase ships, by the way, is our fighters. So we're kind of like the Doom sort of gets away with it, but not really enough for it to matter. Let's go. As uh, this enforcer gets totally jacked up. Though it seems that they were mostly just clearing uh, the enemy. Mostly just clearing enemy fighters. I think that was a good decision getting in there, my friends. Now die. Gremlin's trying to do its thing. As this eradicator gets eradicated. Go on, everyone. Show me who's boss. Hi, I'm helping. <laughs> this is full of salt. They're all dead at this point, anyway. There goes in that Merv. He's super dead. Alright, nice. These guys are screwed. These guys are all just going to fall apart really fast. Goodbye, hounds. Hello, Wolfero. Okay. Is there anything we can do?
Alright, and... Can we take out his engines? Um, no. Ah. Yes, scop it. No worries. We'll hurry the retreat. Don't want any of that. See you later. The pirates still love us. We don't want that Colossus, though. We don't want those. Excellent. When no one else is here, he picked the fight that he couldn't win. He zigged when he should have zagged. <laughs> you know what that's a reference to? And, uh, yeah. Probably not going in there. Go to this one. Let's jump in on it and hope the, uh... I hope their base isn't there. Hey, their base is there! Yay! <laughs> Run! <laughs> okay. Here's the question. Can we take that on? Maybe. That's a lot of battle carriers, so they're kind of using our own tactics against us. But we can probably take it on. If not, it gives us an opportunity to rebuild. Get back here. Who told you you could leave? Come here. Bye. Let's see, these are all 16ers. Yeah, that helps. Hey, 200. Exact. Alright, so defend and defend. So I want you two guys to go over here and then just to hang on to that one. Ooh, e ah. So we basically just need a super turtle for this fight, because that's how uh, mass carrier fleets work. You kind of want to turtle a bunch and a debuff where you can. Let the Moors do their jobs of absorbing a lot of damage and allow the legions to do their jobs of being just a gigantic missile platform that kills things. Alright, so we're going to let our debuff go down and then we're going to debuff this guy. Cool, let's get it. Where's my mouse? There it is. Nice, enemy fleet coming in. Going after this guy next. 